I want to introduce uh, Seth Goldman. He is the co-founder of Honest Tea. He is a truly remarkable entrepreneur. He is a mission-driven entrepreneur. He's done extraordinary things uh, with his company for the last uh, 18 years. Um, he's built a huge business, and he's built it not in spite of this public mission that he has, but because of it. So please give a very, very hearty, learn, serve, welcome for Honest Tea's Seth Goldman. Thank you, thank you. I'm so delighted to salute uh, and celebrate uh, the Learn Serve leaders here. It's really a, a mission that's directly tied to my heart. And I, you know, if it had been around when I was um, growing up, I absolutely would have felt connected to it. I feel connected to it today. Um, we have a long program, so I don't want to talk too long. I'm going to do three things. I'm going to share with you a, a, an honesty, what we call our bottle cap quote. And I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to share one more quote with you. So the quote I want to share is, uh, it's, it's a quote from Abraham Lincoln. It says, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And so that's what you're all doing. And I want to share with you a story that I heard just as I was starting my career. I went to a retreat, and I, um, there was an organization called Business for Social Responsibility that was just getting started. And a friend of mine, Bob Dunn, told a story that has stuck with me. I hope it'll stick with you. It's, you can call it a fable, but it, there's some insight to it. So <laughs> this ruler is coming to the end of his days. He's lived a long, rich life. And he wants to leave his legacy, and you know, the kingdom is rich and it's wealthy, but he knows he has to leave something more than that. And so he says, he brings together all the wise men and women of the kingdom, and he says, I want you to compile all the wisdom, all, everything that really represents the meaning of life, and put it together in, written, in a written form so I can share it with future generations. So the wise men and women go off into the, this cave in the mountain, and they spend several weeks, and they come back, and they, you know, they, they have a, a wagon that unloads volumes and volumes of books, and, 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 and the leader, you know, just as this is, um, they've been away, the, his health has taken a turn for the worse. He says, I'm not going to have time to read all this. I, why don't you go away and come back with just, you know, one condensed volume? So they go off to the mountain, and they spend more nights, long nights, and they come back carrying this big tome, and, and they say, we've done it, we've come, we've, we really had to struggle, but we narrowed it all down. And, and he says, you know, my sight has been declining since you were away. I, I need it to be put on one page. <laughs> they shake their heads. They go off. They've got bags under their eyes. They go back to the mountain. More time, more time. And they come back. They bring him the page. And he says, I'm not even going to be able to read a page. I, I need you to give me one sentence, ten words. Each word can only be two letters. <laughs> they go back to the mountain. They think it's impossible. They spend weeks, uh, and they come back, and they give, this, by this point, the ruler's lying, you know, he's in his bed, he can barely lift his head, but he, they give him this, this, this piece of paper, and he says, I can die content. And the, the, the sentence was, if it is to be, it is up to me. And for all of the Learn, Serve leaders here, the work you're doing is, can change the world. That's how it was with Honest Tea, you know. I, I felt there was a need to change diet, to change the way we interact with the ecosystem, to change labor conditions in the developing world. No one else was doing it. And now others are doing it as well. But it starts with one leader taking a risk. And in closing, I'll share with you the other bottle cap quote. This is on our wall in Honest Tea's office in Bethesda, and the Learn Serve leaders who have come to our office have seen it. It's a Chinese proverb. It says, those who say it cannot be done should not interrupt the people doing it. So here's to doing it. Thank you very much. Yeah.